Hey guys, it's AG, and today we're going to have an early review of Hellboy 2 The Golden Army. I just got back from the Los Angeles Film Festival, and I got to go to a premiere of Hellboy 2 at the Regent Theater in Los Angeles. Now, this was part of the whole film festival. It was for the closing night and everything. So there was an after party and everything for this movie, which is pretty awesome. So I got to be there um, to review that for Latin Heat, and I'm going to give you guys a sneak peek review of Hellboy 2 The Golden Army, which doesn't come out until July 11th. So let's get on with it, shall we? Basically, we learn about a battle that took place long ago between humans and creatures. The King of the Elves was ashamed that his golden army, an unstoppable collection of golden warriors, killed as many humans as they did, so a truce was made. Prince Nuada, who never trusted humans, didn't like this truce and went into exile. The crown that controlled this golden army was split into three pieces, one held by the king, his daughter Princess Nuala, and one by the humans. Years later, guess who returned searching for those crown pieces? A piece from a long lost culture. Lost? Not at all. Very much alive. And I am here to reclaim what is rightfully mine. Cool security! From this point on, humans are in big trouble. That's when the Bureau of Paranormal Research and Defense steps in, led by Hellboy, his girlfriend Liz, who he's been having relationship problems with, and their brainiac partner Abraham Sapien. Of course, they get themselves into more problematic situations than they expected. The guest reported. We have no survivors. Same story here, babe. Don't call me babe. Hey, I said, hey. Red, we have company. This is basically another movie battle between good and evil, but it's done well enough to make it enjoyable. Hellboy struggles with his relationship with Liz and his personal struggles of wanting acceptance with humans. Prince Nuada tries to lure Hellboy to help him out, since Prince Nuada explains humans fear him anyway, so he continues to do that throughout the movie. There are also many surprisingly funny comedic parts too, especially when a new partner of the BPRD joins the fight. Um, the visual effects are the best part of this movie though. Guillermo del Toro's fascination with monsters and creatures shine in this movie, and some of the creatures are reminiscent of those from Pan's Labyrinth. It's truly a feast for the eyes. It's not the best movie of the summer, but it's a hell of a lot of fun and the action scenes are truly great due to some great imagination used in them. I totally recommend Hellboy 2 whether you've seen the first one or not. It's one great time at the movies. Kill them! Wouldn't do that if I were you. They're afraid of me. You have more in common with us than with them, demon. Excuse me. Make the choice. You woke up the baby. 